Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Stir It Up by The Sauce. So this is the original track. And this is the bass that we're going to be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch, and we're gonna be playing D sharp and then E. Cool, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the sub, load a sine wave here, and then load a monster 2 on the oscillator B. You should be getting that sound. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna map an LFO into a level of oscillator A. We're gonna turn on the noise, map it on the noise too, and then uh, put it on the sub too. Let's bring the random faces of all of this all the way down. And let's set this on envelope, and let's make a whoop type of shape. Like that. And let's bring oscillator B all the way down. And then we're gonna add it as FM here. Before we do anything here in the oscillator tab, let's just add a lot of distortion here. Just so you start uh, noticing the changes here. Let's add a multiband compressor here. Let's add a chorus. Then let's add a reader filter. Or we'll actually let's add a comp filter. And let's mix it down. Just like that. And now let's just change the texture with the wavetable. Really nice. Cool, let's add the bend plus. And then let's filter all of this with a low pass filter. So let's bring the cutoff down and then let's hold shift and alt and then click on the cutoff. So we change it like that. And this is it. From here you just have to fine tune this. Whatever fits the mix better. Like that. Lose the mids and the highs. Change the weight table. As you can see, it's now fine tuning from here. So yeah, this is how you make bases like the ones in the track Stir It Up by The Sauce. It's a very short video, but it's also a very, very cool sound. So yeah, if you want to make your own version of this, as you can see, you have you only have to fine tune the parameters that are meaningful, such as the drive, the filter, uh, the filter on the actual oscillator tab, and then the FM and the wavetable. So yeah, that's it. That's going to be it for this sound. Also for this video, if you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.